So good afternoon everyone. Today's health assessment, we are going to assess his cardiovascular um, of this person. So sir, I will be assessing your cardiovascular, mainly the heart and its arteries. So what are you sir? So that we could know if there are any abnormalities in his cardiovascular system. So I will be helping the patient uh, undress his gown for better palpitations and auscultations. So we will start at the um, carotid pulse here located in his neck. So we will use we will use uh, the stethoscope, the bell, so that we could hear the uh, S1, the S2. So yes, we hear the S1, the S2, the love dub. So it is good. His heart is uh, better. Next, we are going to see his jugular venous. So it is uh, here. So it's, uh, it is not uh, visible, but you can see the pulsations. And it is good. So okay, our patient's carotid and jugular venous is in good condition. And we have no problem about it. So we should also see the contour and the shape of his chest. Are there any asymmetries or any bad shape? So that as your uh, the lateral side, so the both of his chest are in. I mean, both of his uh, hair is good and his chest is in good shape. So we have no problem in the external part of his body. Then we must also palpate and inspect the precordium arteries. So, can, sir, kindly tell me if uh, sakit or if it's painful or having discomfort, huh? Ana, sir? Ana. Can I? Ana. Here. Ana. Here. Ana. Can I, sir? Ana. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I, sir? Ana. Can I? Ana. Okay, so we are not done pal palpating, so our patient doesn't feel any pain or discomfort, and uh, we don't have, we don't see any problem about cysts or limbs or any sort of discomfort. So our patient is good. So we are now done auscultating. I mean, palpating the patient. So we are on to go to um, auscultating the patient. So we should also follow a systematic pattern, the Z pattern from. Um, aortic artery to pulmonic artery, then the herbs point, and then the tricuspid valve, and then the apical pulse, which is located at the uh, fifth intercostal space mid clavicular line. So, here. So what are we going to hear is some heart murmurs, any any wheezing, stridors, or any kind of abnormalities in the sound of his cardiovascular. So we shall um, use the diaphragm since we are going to hear any high pitch sound. So we're going to use the Z pattern. Mm -hmm. So here in the second intercostal space. So we will hear the S1 and the S2. So the S2 here is the is more um, audible because uh, it the S2 or the dub from the lab dub is most audible. And then let us go to the pulmonic uh, valve which is right across the left side of the body. So here the S1 is more audible. 
Then let's go to the Here the S2 is more audible than the mitral valve and the tricuspid valve. And lastly, the, the apical pulse, which is located in the fifth intercostal space, mid-clavicular line. So our patient is good and well since we don't hear any uh, abnormalities, sounds, three doors, and the heart is beating uh, good. And the S1, the S2 is good and there are no discomforts. And also our patient's cardiovascular system is healthy. And so we are now done using the diaphragm stethoscope. We are now going to hear the low pitch sound. So we are going to use the bell. So there are no also abnormalities in slow pitch sound, so it is good. So sir, we are done um, assessing your cardiovascular. I am now uh, helping you so that you will have a better sleep. Okay.